Asher, one of my patrons, put me onto this bastard. Here, Tristan. Yeah. This is a hard case because I need this paddock done and I thought, oh, I'd better give Tristan a ring. And if you look behind me up here, there's his tractor, he's John Deere right up the end there. He's been getting around the neighbourhood, he drives that bloody thing all the way from Tarkia and goes even as far as Havelock in it. And he says, yeah, no, I can do that. So he just drives up the driveway with his tractor and we're talking about making this into baitage right now, which is going to be awesome. And you reckon we might get hay off this again in what, February, January, March? January, in February. Oh yeah, that soon. Yeah, bloody good. January. So that's it uh, there. So there's a bit of water down the middle. I don't want any of the reeds cut because yeah. there's, there's a few ducks on that. So just avoid that, sort of make a strip around that. And um, there's a few sheep up there. I should probably move out of the way too. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can do that now. Because uh, I didn't actually think he was going that fast. It was like one, one phone call and then he's here with it, with it to do. So Tristan's just saying that uh, he was a contractor before doing what? Earth moving stuff? Earth moving. Yeah, right. Yeah. Earth moving now. And you bought this? Yeah. I'll let you tear into it. Yeah. The speed this guy's working at, I mean the machine goes, holy shit. It uh, makes light work. He's keeping it distant from the duck pond as we asked. Because he'd sink down there anyway and get stuck, there's quite a lot of water down there. Plus we want to leave a bit of habitat for the ducks and pukekos, particularly the ducks. So Tristan's based in Tarkaka and he drives that tractor everywhere. He's just driven over from Tarkaka. When I called him he's like sitting in his tractor working and then just drove over here. Good on you mate. So what we'll do is we'll lay it down and take the sheep out first. One's uh, wild and one's tame. So you don't want to stir it up because I can just run it down and grab it. You want to run it down and grab it? I'm fast. Okay bro. It's a chain. You, you yeah, yeah, no, no, you, 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 it's, it's doable if you're fast, but you've got to keep the pace up. I won't go on the long grass. I'll let it stay in that short yeah. grass. I'll probably make it run uphill. It's going to go through the fence in a minute. It's going to start to tire itself now. I'll go this way. Oh. oh, he's gone. <laughs> you got it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, well done, bro. Oh, shit. Didn't work it too well. Come on. My son's going hitchhiking now with a pink backpack, steel toe caps, uh, very grubby looking denim shorts with a fly that's clearly not working. Are you confident to hitch in public like this, son? And wearing a pink backpack, it's a nice backpack if you like pink, if that's your colour. Um, are you confident with the sort of person that might attract to pick you up? He's a confident boy. Well, good luck, be safe. Very nice backpack, son, very nice. And if you have to, use those steel toe caps if anybody makes a pass at you of the male gender. See you later. Oh, give it to him, man. He's no fucks given on that boy. He just doesn't care about anything that people think about him. I don't think I'd be that brave to wear a pink backpack in public kitchen, but hey, he's the bravest person I know, actually. Right, well, carry on. I think it's time to get you Lady Sean, isn't it, eh? Yeah, get that wool off. With all the rain we had, uh, the grass, I left it a bit late for cutting it, but uh, we finally got Tristan Graham on the job from Tarkaka. I think we've got uh, three blokes in the paddock today, or four. I'll pan around and show you. It's an interesting um, process. 
watching them how they go through the whole thing. The other day, Tristan came in here and he cut it all, and now they're making it as nice uh, square bales. I'm gonna have a lot of bales, and uh, I'll let you know what the price of all this is too for you guys that want to get some done. And I'll put Tristan's details in there. Anyway, I'll just pan around and show you what's going on. So we got this bloke over here. And then a pan over here. This guy's picking them up and wrapping them. I think it's brilliant how these machines work. Making squares for us. How much does one of those tractors cost? Someone tell me. You tell me. There's the next one coming up to be wrapped. Picks it up. So cool. Because I don't have a barn or anything, I can't make bales because I've got no place to store it, so it makes a lot of sense to get it wrapped. And if we have a dry summer, that means that I'll uh, have some feed, maybe for my own livestock, or maybe to sell to someone else who needs it. It's a pretty expensive process to get these done. I'm probably going to end up with about 200 bales, and I think they are something between 38 and 40 bucks a bale. I might be wrong. I'll find out later. Let's pan around here, watch what this guy's doing. I think this is actually Tristan in the cab, it looks like he might have been some of them. Awesome. There's a heap of grass here, and you know, I left it a wee bit late, some of it's gone to seed, right there. But it's got no gorse in it, got no thistles in it, and it's all spray free. And there's a bit of clover in it down the bottom too. Doesn't muck around, does it? Going yeah, well? Yeah. I thought it was going to be Monday. No, no. It's dry enough now if I try. Bloody good. You don't muck around. It's awesome. No. It might have been a bit of a mess down there. What on the, on the, oh, did you get stuck? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why we said to keep away from it. You can see why I want to dig this out and make a lake down here, because you can't put any machinery through. And uh, yeah, they uh, they got well and truly stuck here. Uh oh. Eventually I want to put a, a wee lake in here, so I might get Tristan back in one of his diggers. Do sort of like a, I don't know, kidney shaped sort of lake here. Because it's, it's always wet anyway, as you can see. This soil would be bloody good to uh, plant stuff and look how black it is, it's real rich, nice soil, bloody beautiful. Tristan must have over a million bucks tied up in this machinery, I reckon. What a legend, eh? Wicked job. Calm down. Sit down. So, uh, you can see the paddock's done, and it's quite interesting because uh, we've got a shitload of uh, these square things here, which uh, we have got this stuff inside them. I don't know whether you call it baleage or hay or what the fuck you call it. I think you call it, uh, it's not silage, it's baleage, I guess. Anyway, we've got, I don't know, probably a hundred and right around there, and there's a whole lot. Also down inside that dip there's a whole lot, probably maybe 120, 130. Well as you can see, the paddock, you can see this green bit here, where it's like green in this inside bit. That's where I've had livestock, only two sheep. And you can see the difference by grazing stuff and what it's like outside of it, it's all brown. So this is actually really good. And I guess it's because the grass likes to be trimmed down and have sheep shit in and all that. So putting livestock on is actually good for your paddock. Well, that's what I reckon anyway. I mean, look at it. This is uh, good stuff. Your whole life is dictated by the weather. If you're a farmer, actually if you're a fisherman too, or you're in any industry where you're outside, but particularly farming and agriculture, because you've got to have good have water. If you don't have water, you don't have feed. You don't have feed, you don't have livestock to feed, and, and then you're like, you're, you're stuffed. So your whole life can be dictated by what's going on with the weather. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to feed these dogs their posse yum now, because... Uh, They've had three walks a day, and Bigsy's getting a little bit of one-on-one -on -one training, aren't you, boy? Bigsy, come. Bigsy, come. See how he took two commands here. He shouldn't do that. Good boy. We're working on that, eh? Good dog. 
It's a little bit uh, not listening, so that's why I've taken them out. My dog should come straight away when I call him. And uh, the next step, if he keeps on doing that, will be the hot collar. I'll vibrate him if he doesn't come. Because one thing you've got to do is have control over, you've got to have control over your dogs and call them off any given situation. Otherwise things start turning pear-shaped. And that's the first rule to stop proofing your dogs is, is basic training. They come when you call them. And oh, I'm, really, I'm really harsh on that uh, one particular lesson with my dogs. If they don't come, you've got problems. Well, you know what that is, don't you, Pa, eh? Yeah. Po, sit. I'll be sitting beside. Start, sit, Po. Good girl. Eat up. You want some too, don't you, mate, eh? Licking your lips. Yes, you do. You good boy, eh? Good boy, beat. You'd like that, wouldn't you, mate, eh? So would you, wouldn't you, eh? Yeah? Hey, what you doing up there? Hey? I think that's going to get it faster if you come up there. Sit down, Bugsy. There you go. So this big bloke here, he's the one that takes the most tucker. He takes what I feed the three dogs, Bigsy, B, and Pace, the same amount in one big piece. Old Mr. Intense, eh? You know you want it, don't you? Yeah. Pretty hungry, eh? Because it's been like the whole like 12 hours since you had some. You good boy Pace, eh? You good boy, you starting to shake. Well, I didn't say you could have it yet. Pay sit. That's not sitting. Pay sit. Good boy, eat up. In your box. Where you go. You're a good dog, aren't you, eh? You want yours? Yep. Be sit. Good dog. Eat up. In your box. Well, you're already sitting, aren't you, Bigsy? Bigsy, sit. Good boy. Leave it. Sit. Leave it. Sit. That's not sitting, that's lying. Bixie, sit. Bixie, sit. Good boy. Eat up. Good catch, mate. Good catch. Good catch. Just eat it gently. He doesn't normally scoff it. Normally he's very quiet. You've already had yours, buddy. See how I've cut Bruno's? So when he bites into it, it falls to bits. Come on, Bruno, in your box. In your box. He knows where he's going. He'll run all the way there. He's gone around the corner. He's already in his box. And your water's a bit low, mate. We need to fill that up, don't we? There you go. In your box. Where you go. Beautiful Sunday afternoon with all my dogs around me. Bruno. Down here we've got Pace on the lead. Poe who's cleaning a bum in the grass. Well done, Poe. B come. B who's disappeared and come back out. Big Z. Big Z come. Big come. Good boy. Big come. Get him, B. Good boy. All the dogs. Looking at uh, the bales that have been, or well, the baleage that's been done, if anybody uh, locally needs to buy some, I've got this for sale, I've got plenty of it. Don't know what I'm selling it for yet because I haven't had the bill for what it's had to have it made into baleage, but it is for sale. Anyway, uh, I'm filled with gratitude, really I am, and I mean that sincerely. Because a lot of you guys that have been like putting comments down for so long now, so many years following my life and that, I'm very, very grateful. Just wanted to say that. And I want to finish up this video by uh, saying thank you for joining me for so long. And your comments, your counsel, your encouragement, your patronage. Uh, putting me right when I'm doing silly stuff, correcting me. And I can see I've got to go and look after these dogs. Because there'll be a fight in a minute. They're running around like beating each other up. We were supposed to go hunting today, but uh, someone else is hunting the block. That's okay. I just wasn't going to waste the time. Caught some fish with firewood mat, which we're going to cook up for dinner tonight. And I'll bring you that fishing... Uh, video later on during the week. Anyway, be good, can't be good, be careful, and I'll see you in the next one. Get him, Poe! Poe, come! Bigsy, come! Bigsy, come! Good dog, B! Bigsy, come! See, B listening, and Bigsy's not got his ears on. Poe, come! Bigsy, come! Bigsy, come! Poe, come! Bigsy, come! Bigsy, come! Get in! That took too long. Bigsy, get him behind! Heat up! Bigsy, come. Po, come. These dogs have to be hunted, man. They are just starting to not listen and uh, full of frustration, trying to let their yayas out. We all need to let our yayas out one way or another, and these guys that's hunting, right, I'm going to walk them and uh, carry on with uh, their feed and all the rest of the duties. Be good, can't be good, be careful. I think I already said it, but I'll end up now by uh, saying have a good one and see you soon.